Mishra's Bauble into Delver of Secrets. All right, here's Agadim. I think it's called Agadim. Yeah, it just taps for black, and I have to pay three life if I wanted to come in the plan tap, which I did. Force pitching force on the Cabal Ritual. We will hear from YouTube comments about that play. They're going to have opinions on it, I assure you. Delver of Secrets reveals force on top. Pretty good. So, the Delver is flipped. Sam now thinking about, with a little bit of time on the on the on the clock as far as life total is concerned. Okay. So n not likely making any aggressive plays this turn. A tapped green modal double face land coming in. I believe it's called Turn Timber. And uh, Sam in the Twitch chat pointing out that Virgil thought it would be better to look for days or wasteland with Ponder rather than pitch it to force. I actually like the force on Cabal Ritual there. It, it, it seemed correct to me, but I, I personally may not have pitched my other force. If I had the option to, I, I might have pitched, pitched the Ponder. It's really hard to say, though. Oh, okay, so now we see the rest of Virgil's hand. So there's two lands. There was no other blue card. Hmm. All right, Cabal Therapy on the stack. Let's see. Force pitching Ponder now. Oh, sorry. Oh. No, not Force pitching Ponder. Just naming Force. Players uh, fake me out there. Dudu, thanks for the follow. Welcome. So I can do that. All right, here's a wasteland. I think we're hitting black. Going after black, yep. 
think black is a higher priority. Attacking with insectile aberration for three. Seems like uh, Virgil has enough disruption here to get there. At least so far. Virgil now at 18, of course. Players will probably eventually update the phone. Two lands in hand, but two unknown cards. Let's see what they are. Expressive iteration. It's a good one. Days is helpful here. Expressive iteration, the other card. I think we're putting Days in hand. We're putting Delver in exile. Yeah. This makes sense to me. Could probably um, just use Steam Vents there pretty safely. Rather than waste the shuffle effect, but that's not a big deal. Zancher in here is here and says, Hello, cool kids. Okay, so one person thinks we're all cool. That's that's a good sign. Are we cool, chat? I think we're all right. Sam now down to one, and that's a scoop. So Virgil gets game one. Nicely done. Seasonably comfortable, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Beautiful day here in New York City. Clear skies. Temperatures are not too hot, not too cold. Uh, Zancher, we use Fahrenheit for temperature here on 90s MTG. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is, is Singapore is Singapore basically like the same temperature year round? Is that what you're saying? And how many Kelvin is that? All right. So a fetch into ponder. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Singapore is, like, right by the equator, yeah. But it's not, like, tropical, right? It's, like, it's kind of, uh, I don't know. Obviously, I've never been to Singapore. Specchio says, beautiful day to be indoors watching 90s MTG Twitch stream. That is a great point. And actually, I'm not even making a joke right now. I've been trying to figure out a way to stream from outside. And uh, we may have that happen at some point. Just a warning to everyone. Something I'm thinking about. And I'm, I'm not even making a joke. All right, so we're here. Ponders have been fired off. We're waiting to see what Sam has in store for us. It's all good, Zancher. Thanks for the sub. And another ponder. Uh, 
threat like that with Lord Four and like like Bran. That is the threat that made us. No plays for Sam, which is interesting. Dragon's Rage Channeler pass. So Sam may have lands, but not want to get them wasted. Summoner's Pact. In your hand. Uh, uh, Delver into the graveyard. Summoner's Pact getting dazed here currently. Looks like one force of will in hand for Virgil left as far as interactions on the stack. Okay, so Summoner's Pact is dazed, which means Sam doesn't have to pay for the uh, Pact trigger. So, it's just all completely countered. Volcanic Island comes back down. It does not look like Virgil currently has Delirium. Artifact, creature, source... Oh, it actually does have Delirium. Never mind. So there is an, there is an incident there. Just three damage and passing the turn. Yours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I messed that up. Yeah. Everything you have. Like, I got to remember the camera. Yeah. I feel like one is like, how old is it? Lotus Petal. I think we're letting that resolve, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe brainstorm in response to find days, potentially. All right, Lotus Petal resolves, getting sacked, Dark Ritual. Like expressive iteration against him, and it's like this. It's like, okay. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Four cards in hand. Pact of Negation on the Force of Will that was targeting Dark Ritual. Now we're going to see a brainstorm in response. Surveil trigger. Now the top card gets put into the graveyard, which was a ponder. Okay. Two cards going back on top. No interaction with Pact of Negation. So Dark Ritual is going to resolve. And it looks like Virgil is out of... Out of interaction. Three black floating, says Sam. Fierce Thoughts, he's two black floating. Brazen Bower, Expressive Iteration, and Dragon's Rage Channeler are the cards in hand for Virgil currently, and the fairy is going into the graveyard. Simeon Spirit Guide gets exiled, and here is Undercity Informer. So we need an Elva Spirit Guide to pay its cost, I believe. Or, Sim or, or a Simeon Spirit Guide, of course. So now it seems like Sam wins the game. See a Xanted Swarm in there. Dread Return, Thassa's Oracle, and the Narc Amoebas. Uh, that, that appears to be game.
Dread and Return, sacrificing these three. Mm -hmm. I have Bridge from Below Trigger, so I get zombies, but I'm, I'm going to target this last All right, pointing out Bridge from Below Trigger, so you get zombies, and here's Thassa's Oracle. No cards in the library. All right, and we're going to game three. Looks like a mulligan to five for Virgil. I just saw two cards go to the bottom. Turn one, Scalding Tarn, fetching. Gets a Volcanic Island. This one's a little bit closer than uh, the match against Roland. Graft Digger's Cage. That's pretty good. Graft Digger's Cage will need to be dealt with. It beats Dread Return currently. Sam says, I have five outs, a foundation breaker, and four summoner's packs. Okay. Good to know. Summoner's pack, of course, can find a foundation breaker, in case anybody is confused by that. Can also find Thassa's Oracle, I guess, if, you, if the game gets crazy enough that Thassa's Oracle is in hand and you can hard cast it, etc. All right, so Delver, Force of Negation, Daze. Mm. I think we're taking... Well, it, 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 depend, it depends what is in uh, Sam's hand, really, but I think we're taking Force of Negation. Let's see. Twitch chat likes Daze, it seems. Taking Delver, okay. So Delver's gone. Oh yeah, that's his article is not a green creature. You can't. Get, yeah, never mind. You're right, chat. My bad. Ponder. Can't see what's in there, but it looks like a Mishra's Bobble is one of the cards. Hard casting Oracle is a sixth out, but very difficult to manage. Yeah. Need a lot of mana. Mistress Bobble, target you. It's a top card is an Agadim, if I'm not mistaken. Mistress Bobble, draw trigger. Yeah, that makes sense, Comics Mike. Comics Mike says, I guess you take the Delver because you know it will be a longer game and you need turns to find your route. Here's Thoughtseize. Force, Force, Days, and Mishra's Bobble now. Good hands for Virgil. Goes for Force of Will. Force of Negation can't counter creatures, which is worth considering. And Days can be paid for. All right. Another double face land. Paying three life. It's Turn Timber, Greenland, Xanted Swarm. Okay. 
can't force a negation or daze that currently. It resolves, and we're passing the turn. Volcanic Island, Mishra's Bobble Trigger. Scented Swarm is pretty interesting. Summoner's Pact looks like it's the card in hand for uh, drawn for turn for Virgil, but Scented Swarm gets an attack in. Lotus Petal, Sack It, Balustrade Spy. Interesting. So I wait until until you hit a land, you know. I'll put those cards in my graveyard. Because I know it's um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That was uh, that was pretty pathetic. <laughs> Went from interesting to wow, that was that was pathetic. TV, right? That's right. Go ahead. Oh. You Spy is attacking. Virgil's now at 17. Now a tap turn timber. Three cards in hand currently for Sam. I mean, if this Balustrade Spy attacks for the win, I, I think we just have to stop the stream, right? I mean, there, there's nothing we can really accomplish that would be more exciting than that. So Sam in Twitch chat pointing out that Sam had another spy in hand. Here's Xanted Swarm. Aiden and Step Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower can't block uh, creatures without flying. Scammed Stoneblade. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Thank you, thank you. Remember, everybody, if you have Amazon Prime, you have one free Twitch sub per month. And if you don't use that one free Twitch sub, Jeff Bezos just keeps the money. And who knows what Jeff spends it on? Who knows? So use your one free Twitch sub from Amazon Prime per month. Support somebody. Rockets. Exactly, Comics Mike. Comics Mike knows. Jinko, thank you for the sub with Prime. Jinko and Scam Stoneblade. They, they understand their role in the world and have now subbed with Prime. Thank you for the subs. Okay, serious weird question. But this came up in my mind a couple of weeks ago. Which one of these people is most likely to have played the most Magic the Gathering out of the out of the four of them. 
Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Mark Zuckerberg? Which one of them has played the most games of Magic the Gathering? And this is not a praise billionaires kind of thing. I'm just curious what people think. I'm not. I'm not a really uh, a praise billionaires kind of person. <laughs> not today, Bezos. Thank you, Jinko Jin. All right, lots, lots of, lots of Zuckerberg votes. Bill and Jeff are too old. That's possible. Looks like Zuckerberg is winning. By the way, I've been alerted that a hype train is close. I don't know if everybody is aware, but hype trains, they're, they're completely nuts. It's a big time experience that everyone could have. Sub gift or use bits now to start a hype train is uh, what's going on here. All right, so Balustrade Spy no longer attacking. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Um, oh, the Balustrade Spy does fly, right? Yeah, it does fly. Someone pointed it out in the chat before. I would have to pick up the card to read it to remember. <clears throat> Tyler with a great question. Between all of the game story irregulars, who probably started playing Magic first? The answer is the owner of the shop, Kevin. Kevin was there when Richard Garfield was planning to start think about, thinking about creating a card game. Ke uh, Kevin was there. Kevin was there in the beginning. Kevin is one of those people that riffle shuffled black lotuses without sleeves back in the day. That's just, that's just, that's just the truth. All right. Lotus pedal. This is this is a quite a game here. This is, I'm I, I'm still not really sure where the advantage bar is and who who is more likely to win. All right, we're hard casting a narco amoeba, so things are getting pretty weird. <laughs> Chat has 30 seconds to trigger a hype train. It looks like they're gonna miss the opportunity. What a shame. Wasteland. I feel like you just murdered that, right? Now with the days and the Sometimes go quick enough, and then if they're going to have pyroblast. Hell yeah. It's pyroblast. Got to attack. Oh, that was a good moment there. Did everybody catch that? Prosper. Says, hi, Chris. Your channel inspired me to get into Paper Legacy after thinking on it for a bit. Have my first duels in the mail as we speak. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Prosper. Awesome to hear. Appreciate that. and appreciate you being here. Get those duels. What are you building? Everybody wants to know. <laughs> All right, so a brainstorm resolving here. After a surveil leaves a card on top. Looks like red blast. Looks like looks like plenty of action in Virgil's hand. I don't I, I don't think Sam is going to resolve anything of any consequence for the rest of this game. Only at four life. I think the advantage bar, in my mind, is all the way to the left at this point. We see Virgil has double bolt, but is holding off for now. Going to try to swing for the kill here. We're going to see a double block. Uh, the brazen borrower finally dies, but we're going to see bolt you. Down to one and lightning bolt number two, and that's game and and a a little a little bit of a messy fist bump there, but we we got it accomplished, everybody. <laughs> 